morning, welcome to uh, DirtyHands.com, our daily video journal, well, daily when I remember. Uh, today I just wanted to show the tomatoes because uh, it's that time of year where they're really starting to ripen up, especially our vining tomatoes. So I just wanted to show you how they're looking. Now this year I've used a trellis system where we've put two T-bar posts at either end of the rows and run well washing line in between them. From that we've then supported strings down which we just wrap around the tomato. So we'll do a close up of this one. So just a normal bit of string that we take down. And you don't need to tie it off, you just wrap it around the vine and that provides enough vertical support to keep it upright. Unfortunately our tomatoes have been exceedingly big this year so as you can see there there are big beefs and they're getting upwards of a pound plus in weight uh, which unfortunately with this kind of system means it doesn't stay vertical you just can't take that sheer weight um, so I've used a technique which I use for my pumpkins which is to put insulation board underneath them just to keep them off the ground and stop the worms getting into them and eating them um, this time of year I'm often in the garden looking at how I'm going to do things better next year and this is one area I'm going to try and improve on as you can see with the sheer weight you just can't keep the tension in that top cable. So I'm going to use a technique I saw at the Botanical Garden next year which is a 2b2 bit of wood, vertical stake and then we're going to tie off two plants, two tomato plants to each side. And that should give it the vertical strength it needs for the support. Uh, I've used the cages in the past they're now really the and you've probably seen these the cone the cone shaped wire ones um i've relegated those to uh peppers and lightweight things again with this kind of weighted tomato they just cannot support it and often cause more problems so i wouldn't suggest you use those route go that route one tip whilst we are down here um this time of year once you bottom tomatoes start to ripen uh, as you can see with these two big guys down here um, once you pick those you can then start to cut off <coughs> the lower leaf branches of leaves so that the energy comes up into the next set of fruit and they start to ripen once they're ripen you've picked those move up and start to take the leaves off moving up the plant as you go um, what that will do is force the uh, food into the fruit and not into the leaves and that means you quickly get a lot more ripened fruit uh, towards the end of the year I think it reduced by about three quarters the amount of green tomatoes we were picking last year when we used that technique uh, also works great on peppers uh, for those of you growing um, even normal peppers or hot chili peppers if you start picking off the leaves from the bottom early on the better you are last tip I've also found for here is this time of year just be careful on your water and when you're about to pick um, if you're absolutely drenching tomatoes this time of year the fruit will get quite watery as far as taste um, if you keep it at a good consistent number amount of water your fruit will taste a lot better well that's it from another beautiful august day in sunny montreal i uh, hope the rest of you are having good luck with your tomatoes at the moment and stay tuned for more from the guard thanks for watching dirtyhands.com